It is now officially week three in the NFL. Goes fast, doesn't it? And for the Patriots and their slot receiver, it is wasting away again in Amendolaville. How's that? <laughs> How was that? I I'm, like it. <laughs> Kevin DuPont for Globe 10.0 here with Adam Kaufman. Adam, you know what? There were, there were questions about getting this guy anyway. He's, mm -hmm. he's just 21 of 34 games, which I know you've done the math. 61.8% of his last 34 games he's missed. That's exactly what I came up with. I knew it. <laughs> knew it. Was it? Is it a mistake? I've been saying it was a mistake since before he got hurt. Sure. Since before he was with the team. You know, I've, I've been in the Welker over Amendola camp. So, uh, for me, I, I've, <laughs> even, the, even the most cynical bone in my body, I did not see him getting hurt in week one. I, I figured it would happen eventually. Half you know, one. Looking, Half yeah, one of yeah, week look, one. Yeah, looking looking at his history, it was, you know, it, it's not an indictment of the player that I didn't like. I, I think Danny Amendola is very talented. He, he's very fast. He's, you know, we saw what he was capable of doing back mm -hmm. in training camp and in the preseason, the little bit that he played. But you can't ignore the history, whether it was bad luck or fluke or whatever else. You know, you've got the clavicle injury. You've you've got the, I I think he had the the neck, elbow, whatever. It was, right. and, and now, you the know. Collarbone that almost killed him. Collarbone, right. Yep. And so now you've got groin or hip, whichever it ends up being after, you know, after he has the final diagnosis from doctors. And whatever the case, he's going to be out a lengthy amount of time, whether he has surgery and then comes back and is theoretically healthy, or whether he decides to rehab and play through this, in which case an injury could linger. So, right. you know, I, which I is didn't. why they've given him that two to six right, weeks span you know, on. I didn't like the signing. I I hope to be proven wrong. It's a five-year deal. He's going to be around for a while yep. in theory, but yep. right now it doesn't look good. Well, here's the reason to like the ser the, like the signing, which is when you see him and he plays, it's it's very likable. I mean, right. he's 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 got guts. He goes to tough places. He kind of stretches that position versus mm -hmm. the other guy we haven't even really touched on upon here, which is where I didn't like the signing. When you mm -hmm. look at the symbiotic relationship between Brady and between Welker, and it worked and it worked and it mm -hmm. worked. I don't know why, given the relative money of this. And Brady's not getting any younger. Brady at age 36, exactly. Uh, you know what? Didn't didn't like the undoing of of Welker and then to try to remedy it with Amendola. It hasn't worked out, which leaves us, as everyone knows, the Patriots looking for their lost shaker of slot receiver. 